Welcome, amazing friends. We have these amazing questions to solve. You can pause the video for a while. Is it something you can do? Just think. Now I'm going to help you, okay? Just remember that this is dedicated to all the jump students. So ensure to share as much as you can. Participate actively and also let us know how helpful this is to you in the comment section. Let's do this together. Okay, before we go into answering this question, remember we said it's on binary operation. I'm going to remind you of what we meant by binary operation. Wow. Now, when you have binary operation, what does it really mean? We have binary. Binary means what? Two. Okay, when you hear binary, it is a term used for two things. Okay, now when you have this operation, before we talk about the operations, let me remind you of the operations you are used to. And we call them the arithmetic eh, operations and some of these operations are we have the addition sign the subtraction sign the multiplication sign and the division sign these are the arithmetic operations but when we talk about the operations we use here we have operations like this you can have a dot you can have a series you can have it this way you can have it this way you can even have it this way you can have it in this form and so many of them now these are the operations we make use of when we talk about binary operation now what do we really mean by binary operation or binary operation simply means when you use this operation on two non-empty sets okay applying this operation on two non-empty sets is just what you mean by binary operation but wait what do we really mean by this operation? What do they mean? Now, note it that these operations will make no sense to you until they are defined using any of these arithmetic operations. Yes. So what it means is that for you to work on binary operation, all these operations we have here are always defined using any of these arithmetic operations. Just take, for instance, you see it here. You see this is binary operation here. And this operation is now defined with this. Now, when you have it in this form, you can easily answer questions asked on binary operation. Now, let's see how to answer this. It's just very simple. So, we are going to take it with question number one. For question one, let's read together, okay? We are told that if A operation B is equal to positive square root of AB, we are asked to evaluate this. Now, to evaluate this, just simply note that you are going to work with the one in the bracket first. Remember your board mass, okay? When you are working with your board mass, you have it that the one in the bracket should be done first. So to answer this, you are going to do with this first before we answer the other. Now, let's do it together. So we are going to begin it with solution. Now, what do you do? This is what we are giving as, so we have a operation b is given as positive square root of ab so what do we do next let's take this first so we have 12 operation 27 so what does this mean it simply means if you watch carefully you observe that this is a operation b and the one you are asked to find is 12 operation 27 so what it means is that your A will take the value of 12. So what we are about to do here is just simply substitution, okay, replacement. So here we have it that our B is going to take the value of 27. So we are going to substitute this into this defined term or operation. So to do it, you are going to bring down the positive root, positive sign. Then you take the square root of your a is 20 is 12 okay remember when you have a b it means a multiply b i hope you are with me so you are going to multiply your b which is 27 i hope you are with me there now when you multiply this you are going to now have positive square root of 324 i hope you are with me there now working with this now you simply get the square root and the square root, remember we are only taking the positive so the positive square root of this is going to give us what? 18. I hope you are with me. So we have it that for simplifying this 12 operation 27, we are having 18 as an answer. You can still write it as 18. Now let's bring down this. So we are going to have it that 2 operation 12 operation 27 is the same thing as what? 2 
operation. What did we get as this? You observe we got this as 18. So you are going to replace the whole of this with 18. I hope you are seeing what we are doing. And this will be equal to, remember the original defined term, which is given as positive square root of AB. So we are going to have positive square root of, this has taken the shape of A now. You see how we are working on it? Then this 18 will now be your B. So put this A and B into what you have here. So this is giving us 2 multiply 18. I hope you are with me. You are only taking the positive square root. So you are going to have positive square root of multiply this, it gives you 36. And what is the square root of 36? It will give us what? 6. So it means for simplifying the first one, we are having our answer as 6. Now let's take the second one. For the second one, we are told if, so we have it as if x operation y is given as x plus y minus xy. Did you see? We are asked to find x when this plus this is 36, it's 68. Now what do you do? We are going to work with this first, okay? So we are going to have x operation 2. Please remember that this is a binary operation. It is defined with this. So don't see this as plus sign or max subtraction or multiplication. They are not any of it until you define it. So you see the definition. So we are going to work with the definition. Please take notes, okay? So we are going to now have x operation 2. What does it mean? You have it that your x will now take the value of this x, okay? And your y will take the value of 2. So you now substitute it in the defined operation. Did you see it? So we are going to have it as x will remain x plus your y will now be 2. You see what we are doing? Minus your x will remain x. So we have x multiplied by what our y is 2. Interesting. So if you simplify it, you are going to have x plus 2 minus multiply this, you have 2x. So for simplifying this, we are having x plus 2 minus 2x. Now let's take the second one, which is x operation 3. Now what do you do? Use the same defined operation. So we're going to have this is your x and this remains your y. Okay, obeying this. I hope you are with me. So substituting it here, you are going to now have your x is x. So you have x plus your y is 3. Did you see? minus x y means x multiplied by 3 so this will give us x plus 3 multiply this you have 3x so what do you do now you are going to now combine these two so it's going to give us for this you see what we got we got x plus 2 minus 2x you see what we're doing then plus okay for this, what did we get? This is what we got. X plus 3 minus 3x. I hope you are seeing what we are doing. This is for this and this is for this. Did you see? You observe now that the operations are no longer there. So you can easily work with the arithmetic operations. So, and everything should be equal to 68. Now, what do you do? Just simplify. So this gives us x plus 2 minus 2x. We bring it out from the brackets plus x plus 3 minus 3x three is equal to 68. Interesting. So what do you do again? You collect like terms. So you are going to have x minus 2x plus x. So you give us x plus x is 2x and minus 2x is 0. So you will be left with negative 3x. I hope you are seeing it. Then we add the constants. We have 2 plus this 3 will give us 5. So we are going to have 5 is equal to 68. So to get your x, we are going to now have negative 3x. You know you are going to subtract because this is positive. So if you subtract 5 from both sides, you are having 68 minus 5. And when you simplify again, you have negative 3x is equal to simplify this, it gives you 63. I hope you are with me. Now to get your x, what do you do? You divide so you divide both sides by the coefficient which is negative 3 and when you do that x is going to give us what this is negative 21 as the value of x now let's quickly look at question number 
three and don't forget to tell us how helpful this is to you in the comments and share with your friends for question three we are told two binary operations this and this these are the binary operations okay are defined as m operation n okay is equal to this and m operation n is defined as this for all real numbers m and n now real numbers are those numbers you can easily find on the number line okay now we are asked to find the value of this what do you do just very simple so we're going to have the third one so this is what we are asked to find now when you look at this please note it that this does not mean addition sign it's not your arithmetic operation just like we said in the beginning of the tutorial it's your binary operation which is always defined and you define it with the arithmetic okay so to answer this remember we said you work with the one in the bracket first so we are going to deal with this first and remember there are two operations we are giving the first one is what m operation n is given as mn minus n minus one interesting then we also have it that m operation n is given as mn plus n minus two so to answer this remember we said deal with this first so we're going to have four operation five and when you're working for four operation five which of the operations will you make use of you observe that the first one is with this operation did you see so you are going to do your substitution in the first one so this is operation one and this is two so please take notes okay so to get this you are going to now make use of the first one in that case you have m so this will take the value of m and this is your n so we are going to have mn means 4 multiply 5 okay minus your n is 5 did you see then minus 1 so let's simplify it multiply this you have 20 20 minus 5 minus 1 then when you simplify this it gives you 14 i hope you are with me there now what do you do again you are going to now get for 3 okay we've been able to get the one in the bracket as 14 so we're going to now have 3 operation 4 operation 5 what will it be this is giving us 3 operation the whole of this which is this has given us what 14 you see how we're doing it so this has given us 14 so we're having 3 operation 14 so to simplify it you are going to now have your m so you are going to substitute this in the second because that is operation that has this i hope you are seeing what we are doing so we're going to now have this becomes your m so this takes the value of m and this takes the value of n so substituting it in the second one we are going to now have three operation 14 is equal to mn which is three times 14 i hope you are with me plus your n is what your n is 14 so you have 14 minus 2 now when you multiply this this is going to give us a 42 plus 14 minus 2 and when you simplify this it gives you 54 and that is the answer for this particular question and i hope you really learned a lot let us know how much in the comment and don't forget to share with your friends to learn what you have just discussed remember to subscribe for more tips and i will see you in the next slide to teach you more about binary operation i hope to see you in our next class till then bye bye